Hey guys, Ironics Media here, and today we are getting our hands on a phone that's breaking the budget barrier. Yes, I'm talking about the Redmi 13C. Now, as some of you may know, the Redmi phones are the kind of phones that delivers on the essentials without burning a hole in your pocket. So let's buckle up and see what this phone actually has inside. Wow, I can already smell that smell of a new phone. Now this phone feels surprisingly solid in hand, none of that cheap plastic feel that you sometimes get with budget phones. So inside the box we have the usual suspects, a power adapter which is uh, I believe a 10 watt adapter. We also have a type C USB power cable and well that's much of it. I believe the rest are nothing but just the user manual. Now we have the front camera over here and we also have the speaker which is uh, down here and the port for charging and also the microphone as well and it also has a 3.5 millimeter jack for earphones which is on top. Now this is something that I personally don't love but uh, it might be different for you. I personally do love it when the headphone jack is down here so that when I'm able when I'm putting it on my pocket I can be able to have easy access to the jack. But anyway it may be a different preference for you but let's see what else is in here. We also have uh, three lenses at the back and the main camera has 50 megapixels AI camera which we shall be testing out later on and a flashlight. So we also have the volume buttons on the side and also the power button which is also the fingerprint sensor. Now without any further ado, let's boot up the phone and see what's really inside and what this bad boy can do. Okay, now let's go back to the main attraction a bit for a second, which is the display. The display size of this phone diagonally is 6.74 inches. The screen is an IPS LCD panel and it comes with a refresh rate of up to 90 hertz, which is something I expected to be higher, maybe something like 120 hertz, but I don't know if you can see it. This is much smooth enough for a phone of this kind of budget. Oh, and did I mention that this phone comes with a variety of colors? The one I have here is a midnight black, but there are other variants out there which are the navy blue, the glacier white, and the clover green. Now, I personally love color gray or any other dark color, but when it comes to bright colors, I usually love the clover green. Now one thing I can say is that Xiaomi has a uh, very nice and aesthetic looks even though not as nice as Oppo but definitely that is just my own suggestion and by the way let me know in the comments section which is your favorite color of a phone. Now enough with the design let's not get carried away too much by the design let's go ahead and look at the other big question which is the camera. Can this phone take decent pictures? Well that's what we are about to find out. Now the Redmi 13C features a 50 megapixel main sensor which I mentioned before which sounds quite impressive on paper but how does it translate in real world use? Now before we test it using some clips let us first of all see what this camera features are. Now the camera features are the time lapse and we also have the video mode, the photo mode, the portrait mode the night mode and we also have the 50 MP which I'm yet to test and see what it does. Now up here we also have some other features which are the flash, the grid lines, the timer and the voice shutter and the watermark. Now the voice shutter is one of the amazing features that it has because instead of tapping here in order to capture a photo all you need to do is just activate it with a voice command. Like now if I say say cheese and it captures a photo. So I think the code word is say cheese and it captures a photo. So all I need to do is just say cheese. Okay, it didn't hear me right now. Now this feature is quite amazing unless maybe you have that one disturbing friend who likes to come and disturb you when you are taking a photo. You know, can you imagine when you are trying to capture a photo and then someone comes and shouts say cheese and it definitely captures a photo of you where you are not ready. 
<laughs> that's a bit funny now the selfie camera on the other hand let's see what kind of features that it has and there we go and it appears to have the same features down here but i think when we come up here yeah there are some additional features like for example the aspect ratio the hdr the 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 palm shutter which is personally one of my favorite and all you have to do when you are taking a selfie and the palm shutter is on all you need to do is just place your palm on the camera and it's going to give yourself uh, a timer of maybe three seconds and it captures a photo let's go ahead and take some clips and photos out there and see what this camera can do now the photos and videos captured with this main camera are quite uh, good i would say they have uh, some detail and color accuracy but only in well lit situations when it comes to low light performance well i would say it's quite down <laughs> but i believe that is something that should be expected at this price point so one thing to expect when you are going to buy this device out there in the market is that the camera will only work in well lit situations and i'm not saying it's bad because well most of us usually like taking and capturing videos in well lit situations so yeah i can generally say that this camera will just get the job done when it comes to video mode, this camera can record up to 1080p resolution at 30 frames per second and the same applies to the front camera which records with the same uh, quality. Now under the hood, the Redmi 13C packs a MediaTek Helio G85 processor which is not quite on top of the line but for everyday tasks like browsing social media and even some light gaming and i have put more emphasis on light gaming it will get the job done now this phone also comes with a ram of 4 gb which is expandable up to 8 gb and it also has an internal storage of 128 gigabytes and it also runs on android 13. So I believe with this kind of specs, multitasking and storing your favorite applications and also personal files shouldn't be an issue. Now when it comes to the battery, the Redmi 13C boasts with a massive 5000mAh battery and I can say it quite delivers. I tested it and I got a full day's use out of it. Even with moderate gaming and constant social media scrolling plus the 18 watt fast charging which is a nice bonus getting you backed up and running in no time. There's also another variant of this 13C which comes with a 4GB RAM and 64GB of internal storage so it's just up to you to choose the one which suits your budget and also suits your needs. Now last but not least, I know the question that is ringing in your mind right now is how much does this phone cost? Now as per the time of this recording, it ranges from 16,000 to 18,000 Kenya shilling. But this will again depend on the source where you bought your phone. Now I believe that is all there is much to say concerning this phone. Let me know what you think about it. If you have any queries or suggestions, let me know in the comments section down below. If you have liked the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so that you may not miss any of my future videos. It's been Ironics Media and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Stay tuned.